In this demonstration, we're going to slice this part into 10 slices horizontally. So the first thing we need to do is to select the, the, the plane we want to slice in. So it's this top face here and we put a plane on, on there. Now we're going to duplicate this frame many times. So we need to create a pattern and pull it up to that plane there, which we click and we get a plane down there and we also have a count number highlighted because we selected the create patterns. We'll have 10 sections that we want to slice it into so we'll simply type 10 and return. There we have 10 extra planes, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We've actually got 9 slices. 10 planes, 9 slices. Now to do the actual slicing, we implement split body over here. Click that and the mouse pointer changes into a pointer and a block which is telling us to choose the block we want to slice so we'll just choose it the mouse pointer changed, changes to a saw we've now got to choose the item that we want to slice the plane with so we'll choose that plane there right and we see that it's put a slice at that point. Also the mouse pointer has changed to a mouse pointer with an opaque block on top of a transparent block. Now that means it's asking us to choose a part we want to erase. We don't want to erase any part we just want to choose another part of the block to slice so we'll again click on sp split body we'll go back to the block so now we choose this part of the block again we get a saw and we choose that plane now we've got again an opaque block above a transparent block so if we wanted to we could eliminate this part here. So if we were to click on that, we would remove part of it that we've sliced. We'll do a control Z and get that bit back. So we've got a saw again. So we'll choose that one and it sliced it. So we'll keep doing that. And finally, the last one. And we've split the part into nine parts. Now we'll do a bit of housekeeping and get rid of this clutter that we don't need. So we can delete pattern, then play and shift all these planes we don't need so we can delete those and we can now move these sections away we'll start by moving this top one so over here we'll select solid that selects the complete solid we'll move it 10 millimeters then We'll carry on with the rest, we'll move that one 
nine millimeters. And so on and so forth, eight millimeters. Seven. Six. Ah, oh, now here we see we've ended up with a spurious little piece here. We've got to be careful, we don't want that, we want this bit up here, so that's that solid there. Right, so now we can move that. Five. No. That's solid we want and these last two ones together so I'm holding the control key while I'm selecting them so wait a minute I've got too much selected there hold on ah uh -uh, that's that one that one and control key all that one no we don't want that one Yes, we want that one and that one. There we are. So now we can move that up. Four. And finally, we can move that one up. Three. And there we have sliced part we can if we like just because it's cute we can move these parts out sideways so five that one and I think it's one of these that one there right move that one out five There we are. How about that? Hope you enjoyed that. Somebody might find that useful for some purpose or other. Maybe in um, 3D printing may be useful. I've, I have not done any 3D printing myself, but I've heard that uh, slicing the component digitally is one thing that has to be done so maybe that's useful to some of you guys thank you bye for now